So today I thought I would bring you a video to get you guys motivated and ready for 2021. I'm going to be going through some success stories, showing you guys some people within the community that started getting sales, consistent sales, and even making a lot of money. I hope this video can help you guys stay motivated. Please, if you do get any sort of value from this video, drop a like on this one as it really does help the channel. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your print on demand shops. If this happens to be the first time you are stopping around here and you're someone who's looking to make some extra money online for free, make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button with the notification bells turned on so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. There's definitely a lot going on on this channel and for those who don't already know, Know, I have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description and that's filled with the information that I used to get my first sales online through sites like Redbubble and on top of that for anyone looking to make this something maybe more full-time I also have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's also linked down below now with that said like I said I'm gonna be talking about some Redbubble success stories these are stories from you guys people from the comment sections people from the Facebook group which if you're not a part of the link to join that is down in the description and personally I thought this would be a nice way to end the year off by motivating you guys to go into the new year geared up prepared and ready because personally I know firsthand that anyone can be successful in this Redbubble game if you pretty much follow the steps that have worked for other people and for anyone who may be new to the channel or who doesn't even know anything about Redbubble at all Redbubble is probably one of the best ways out there to make money online from completely nothing and the people that I'm going to be showing you have also managed to do that and if they can do it so can you getting straight into this I am starting off by Chris now Chris's comment is the comment that I spoke about in previous videos and this is a comment that really hit home with me because I didn't think that I could motivate anyone to the point where things like this can happen so I just want to share it with you guys in case there's someone out there who's on the brink of giving up who's on the brink of quitting and I just want to show you guys that anything potentially could be possible if you go that little bit further when it comes to Redbubble now this comment says hey there I absolutely love your channel you're literally the only reason i have made 246 sales in the past two months and earned around 800 dollars i was about to shut my store but i saw your video you made and kept going thanks for the motivation bro keep up the amazing work first of all 246 sales this was someone that was about to give up just think if they gave up they would have lost out on eight hundred dollars now i know there's people watching this that have zero sales that think that it's never gonna work for them this right here is a prime example of someone who went a little bit further and it paid off so if you're watching this and you're down in the dumps don't you worry 2021 could potentially be the year for you if you keep working and not just keep working hard if you also start working smart as well in all of my videos i always talk about different strategies to allow you guys to work smart and if you want more information on anything there will be a red bubble playlist linked down below where you can go through the variation of videos that I've made to help you guys get in a position where you can end up like Krish here. Next up, we have this person here. The name is B2K Diesel. What a name. And yeah, this is a comment that I saw not too long before actually making this video. And they put down, I just made my first sale, lol. I don't know why with the lol, but they made their first sale and they put, okay, I'm not rich yet but still it's a start to positive things it's my fifth day on Redbubble now this person is sharing with us their first sale so firstly I just want to say congratulations to them it's never easy to get your first sale as I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys understand and they managed to get their first sale after five days of working on Redbubble now something that I'm noticing a lot of is people complaining when they've been on Redbubble, for example, let's say for a month and they see no sales. Now, when you see something like this, 
don't compare yourself everyone is different in my videos i try to show you ways that work for me that are working for me that can help you guys get to that point a bit quicker than if you were to do it yourself so yeah firstly don't compare yourself it's very impressive that they've got their first sale in five days when i first started it took me roughly it was between a week and a half to two weeks to get my first sale so it's very very impressive that they've managed to pull this off but once again i just want to share this with you guys to show you that even till now there's still people out there managing to pull off their first sales so if you're thinking it's too late for you it's not your sales could still potentially come in next up we've got this guy here Todd K and he put down, hey Phil, I watched a few of your vids recently and added stickers to my Redbubble store. Today I got my first ever sale on Redbubble. It wasn't much, but it's a start. Thank you so much for all the tips. You just got another subscriber. Firstly, I just wanna say, thank you for joining the community and subscribing it really does mean a lot to me going into what they said they mentioned that they started implementing stickers into their store and they got a sale now this is another comment that i spoke about previously in the past but it's one of my favorite comments mainly because it is showing someone implementing the information that i talk about through my videos and it's paid off for them and for anyone who might be wondering okay what kind of stickers did they implement? I mean, when it comes to stickers, I usually recommend for people to create sticker packs. I've made videos on sticker packs. If you don't know what that is, I'll make sure I link that video down in the description so you can understand a little bit more about sticker packs. But the information that I talk about in these videos, if you implement it correctly, you could end up in a position where you are also getting your first ever sale if you've never got any sales before. And once again, this is all motivation to keep you guys going because I know there's a lot of people out there struggling. This is the kind of video personally I would have liked to watch in my first week of working with Redbubble because I'm not going to lie with you guys in my first week I pretty much felt like stopping I think I uploaded a few designs and I didn't touch Redbubble for like a week it was crazy so this is the kind of video that I would have wanted to watch back then which is why I'm making it for you guys now next up we've got a few comments on the screen so the first one we've got Alyssa and she's saying hi awesome videos as always thank you for your constant motivation I've got my first three sales this month on very simple stickers. I've got around 140 designs. Things are still moving very slow. I followed your advice putting as a default product stickers and it worked. I wonder when I shall switch to optimize. What would you recommend? Thanks, keep it up. Now, once again, this is something I answered in a previous video, but I'm only putting it in this video to show you once again, this is someone who's implemented information and it's paid off. Once again, it's stickers. So they've implemented stickers into their shops, not just into the shops. They've also made that the default front product on Redbubble, which has allowed them to get their first few sales. And uh, they were also asking when they should switch to optimize. Personally, I wouldn't recommend for people to switch to the optimized viewing mainly because it's better if you have a set product there. We've got Shane next up and Shane put, I am the 1% making consistent sales each week now, trying to rump up to 1K profit per month. Now, if Shane can do it, you guys can too. I mean, it's not easy to get to the point where you're getting that high of an amount, but if you put the time in, if you keep working smart, if you analyze your data, so if you see what's working in your shops and you make more of it, you will definitely get there a lot faster than you would otherwise. And then finally, we've got a bear, and the bear was saying, I'm the 1%. I've got three sales, still waiting for regular sales. I'm patient and uploading more designs every day consistently. I've learned so many things from you. Once again, thank you, a bear, for sharing that in the comments. And yes, a bear is another person managed to get three sales a bear is also saying there that he's being very patient with the fact that the consistent sales aren't coming yet and patience for those who don't know it's one of the main keys when it comes to Redbubble personally with myself after the first week I felt like quitting I felt like giving up but in the second week of my Redbubble journey I just decided that I wasn't going to expect anything from Redbubble for at least three months when I put myself into that mindset when I became patient that's when everything switched up now onto the first of some of the facebook group comments i've got some of my favorite posts from the group the first one is mappy 
and Mappy posted saying, one of the products that sell the most apart from stickers are the greetings cards, sometimes postcards too. One hour ago, I saw 10 in a single purchase. Thanks, Phil, for your method. For those who don't already know, I talk about greetings cards quite a lot in a lot of my videos, and Mappy decided to actually implement that. And as you guys can see, it paid off. 10 greetings cards from one purchase. This isn't something that's strange either. When it comes to Redbubble and greetings cards, people tend to buy a lot in one go if you happen to jump into the right niche or if you make your greeting card in the right way. So yeah, that's something you guys can definitely try to implement if you're not already doing that. Now with the retro, I just want to say a retro is a real one. I'm always seeing comments on pretty much every video. So I just want to say thank you very much for the support. I see it, it's very much appreciated and Aretra shared on the Facebook group saying, wow, got even more sales after that. After five months, 200 designs, this is the first time my mailbox looks like this. It's a dream. So as you can see there, Aretra now had few sales coming in. Once again, this isn't something that happened overnight. Aretra put in five months of work, got to 200 designs and eventually got to the point where the sales were seeming a bit more consistent. It a retro can do it, anyone can do it. I always say this, history repeats itself. So if you can follow the steps of those that are doing it right, you yourself can push yourself further. And the next uh, retro, we've got Stephanie. And Stephanie was one of the big success stories from the Facebook group. She'd gotten to 600 pounds in total sales. And not too long after that, she'd gone from 600 to 678 pounds. Now this is what usually happens when you find a niche that's on fire. Stephanie happened to stumble across something that pushed her so far forward that her shop started to do well. Now a lot of people might be like, oh, this might have been luck. And although that might have been the case the way i see luck is when hard work meets determination because this doesn't just happen from someone not posting anything stephanie would have had to go out there do research constantly post and create and eventually she found a trend that blew up her shop and once again if this can happen for stephanie this can happen for anyone you just need to be willing to put in the hard work and the results will come from that nevertheless we'll end it here for this video if you yourself have any red bubble success stories let me know down in the comment section comment down something like success story and i'll try to get through as many of your comments and reply to you guys happy new year if you're watching this in 2021 let's make this year bigger than the last and at the end of the day always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success